All right, we can skip that intro for the day. We already had that intro once today. We don't need it again. All right. We're back, boys. I had to, I had, I literally had to shut the stream down. It was, uh, reaching the limit of, uh, where they, you run the risk of it not being posted, and that'd be a shame. Opening day, everything we've kind of been showing everybody and stuff like that, so. Oh, and Rick's David Jink Vinks. I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. TJ, what's up, man? Not much, bro. Just uh, just mining. We're going to finish up the rest of these 100 buckets, and then we're going to clean them all out, with uh, do the separation real quick, and then we'll move on. Smash that claim, bro. Yeah, dude, we're gonna we're gonna crush this thing, dude. We're gonna split it in two. Yeah, so we've already gone for uh, <laughs> freaking uh, what was it twelve hours? So probably put another three in, maybe four. Hell yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Took this thing to Pound Town. Right now, we're just cleaning up all this uh, junky stuff, so. I kind of want to move the uh, the buckets real quick and then just start mining out right next to me already over here. I don't even want to move the wash plants, dude. I just want to keep them right where they're at. I just got to move those buckets out of here, though. Kind of being a little picky over here when I don't really need to be, but mainly where the buckets are sitting is what I want to kind of get all the rest of that up out of there. Yeah, we're just going to slay some buckets with the front loader here and just kind of get some gold. Typical split. Yeah, man. Crush it. Yeah, man. Appreciate all the uh, the likes and stuff like that, guys, on the last video, man. Over uh, 800 people came in. Almost 900 people came in to watch opening day of Gold Rush. That's uh, really good, guys. It's a, it's a it's a really good day for me. That was a that was a that was a huge one. Nice to see those thousand view days when you're uh, done streaming at the end of the day or end of stream and you're like, damn, bro, we almost broke a thousand. Woo! Thousand homeboys came in to say what's up or just kind of lurk or. Yeah, it didn't send notifications out for quite a few people. People were saying that didn't they didn't get notifications. It's a bummer. But you're here now and appreciate it, my man. Right now we're just trying to crush out some uh pay here. And it's gone. What's up, Fryer? How you doing, man? Oh, 
You know what's crazy though is the is the full stream from uh, the first one we just did here today. The first, the, almost that twelve hour stream, it's fully uploaded already. Nice. That's what I want to see. Fully uploaded. Fully uploaded, dudes. That's you. That's YouTube working at its finest, right there, boys and girls. In your face. <laughs> Take that, YouTube. Oh yeah, it's it's auto posted. Um, it's so so generally the way I do my streams is, is what a lot of people do is they unlist their stream after it's live, and then they then they go back and edit it, and they cr they crunch it all down to like a twenty minute video. Well, I don't do that. I just leave it up in its entirety. So um, that way I don't spend half the time editing. Nick spend more time streaming. So I figured the live event is more important than the video. But a lot of people would say it's the other way around. And I can agree with them and also disagree with them. But if you're just a live streamer, then then um, your your live stream is where all the atmosphere is at. So it's hard to capture a live stream and the essence of a live stream if you're not there. And so oh, it's, it's a something I need to get good at. Need to get better at it. Just trying to take as much dirt out of here as we possibly can. Sorry if you hear my fan run. It got it's really warm outside right now. It got super super hot. I took Jasper out for the bat out to the bathroom and he's just rolling around in the grass having a good old time and just had a smoke and just kind of kicked it in the sun for a second. And I was like, you know what? I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done, dudes. I can't take no thirty minutes. Hell with that, dude. Roblox, what's up, man? Uh, so, sometimes it might key up my microphone. You might hear it when I'm talking or whatnot, but that's what you'll be hearing if, if you hear anything. You might not even hear it at all, so... What do you guys think I'm up to bucket wise, man? No, my voice is coming through like Aaron Neville. What do you mean? Is it chopping out? I'm confused. Is it? Am I mic? Am I shit chopping out again? It might have been because I wasn't talking directly into my microphone and the noise gate was uh, not popping up. Because sometimes when I don't talk directly into my microphone at all, it'll, uh, it'll cut me out on a quiet part of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. Cool, cool. Yeah, I've been trying to tweak with my audio a little bit, so. Trying, trying, trying. Oh yeah, dude, we had to, we had to shut the other stream down. And uh, pop a new stream up because uh, you know we don't want to lose twelve hours worth of a of a stream because YouTube's got a hissy fit with long streams. So and don't say I can stream for twenty four hours then, Pfft, butthole, and then only let me stream for twelve. How dare! How dare them! Don't don't tempt me, YouTube. <laughs> All right. 
Like how many 20 hour day, 24 hour days that didn't get recorded on the on leaderboard season one were insane. There was like six, there's like six videos that didn't get uh, posted because YouTube was uh, pissing off, getting, getting irritated. They're like, I was there like, you can, you can't do 24 hour live streams, but it says I can do 24 hour live streams, but you can't do 24, 24 hour live streams, but it says I have it unlocked. Why can't I do them? Well, it's only a certain setting that'll let you do it. Well, why don't I have that certain setting that says that I have it? And it was like, you can't do 24 hour streams. Oh, okay. Can I do 12 hour streams? Can I do two 12 hour streams? That's why I laugh when people are like, you, you can't do, you can't do 20, you can't do a 24 hour stream. Listen, dude, I was doing 20 hour streams, 24 hour streams. Like they're nothing. Okay. Like that's, that doesn't, I don't need to, to like make myself not feel good and shit like that. Right. Right. Like <laughs> calm down, dude. I'll go, I'll go full Karen on YouTube, dude. I'll talk. I want to talk to a manager, dude. I can't be, I cannot believe I went over my API threshold the other day for that 4k stream. I can't believe that dude. That was ridiculous. This stream today, no problem. Hey, let's let, let's let you, let's let you go ahead and put up another stream. No problem at all. One 4k split and two stream API blocked after five hours of live streaming 4k get wrecked nerd. But I did meet the qualifications for 4K. So I passed it with flying colors. <laughs> well, heck, you have been approved for 4K in one stream. Yeah, approval. Woo. The next day I streamed, freaking API blocked. Great. Thanks, bro. Nice approval. Approval to sit on the bench after a three hour stream. Damn it. Uh, my, yes, my ISP called in and complained, but it was automated. It was an automated response. It wasn't a, uh, it was like a, it was an automated, um, Thing that tells a service person to call me and let me know about my data uses and extreme data usage but um i have a business account so i i don't have limits so it did that's I, I i go through this every once in a while when i, I when i stream a lot they it puts a, a flag on my account and they they have to have a tech guy call call me and, and i'm like nope it's normal data usage it's i'm a streamer and they're like, oh, okay. You know, and I'm, I, I always make fun of them every time. And then, I, and then I, and then I harass them to the point where they give me free shit. So just because I am a business user. So it's like, dude, I, I love, I love the tech guys that call the house. I, I love them. They're, they're so hilarious. They're like, no, 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 we don't, we don't want to lose you as a client, you know? And, and you know, we'll, we'll give you some free shit, man. We'll, we'll bundle up some stuff for you. And how does free HBO sound for like four months? Oh, dude, that sounds great, man. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you for the uh, free fat bank for like uh, a couple months. Appreciate that. They give us all kinds of free packages and shit, dude. It's kind of hilarious. They call like every other month. It's kind of funny. He looked at my data usage and he was like, dude, what the F were you doing? How is it even possible to upload that much shit? And I'm just like, bro, hold my beer. It's going to get even worse. Uh, 2,099 yards.
See? Front loader. Paid off. Paid for itself right there. And and some. Two thousand. No, you think that that was one day, it's what I told him. I was like, dude, that was like two actually sorry, I was like, that was two days worth of test streaming. Just wait till I start cracking off a 1080p stream for like five hours and then taking a break for a bit and coming back for like a four hour member stream at night in full 4k dude that's i'm gonna have to do it that way because what what it is is that if they're gonna block my api through youtube after a certain period of time and so much data sent to to youtube i'll i'll do my 1080p streams for pc during the day and then at nighttime when i come on to chill and just hang out and play games with the members um i'll just do console 4k uh, either member streams or non-member stream. I'm keeping it to member for right now until I get used to console and and uh, used to the whole everything, right? So, yeah, dude. But I, I'm down to play console, man. I've been having a blast playing, uh, just kind of kicking back in my chair and and just kind of like just chilling, right? Having a lot of fun playing Mordor. I, I got uh, the UFC 3 fighting game and and damn near beat it in like one day. Because I just, I love that game, dude. I should have I should have streamed it, but I was having the, the issues with the API. So with the leaderboards popping up and stuff like that, I didn't want to uh, risk anything. So I just didn't stream it. Console noob. Dude, both, bro. I just like it because it gives me the ability to stream in 4K. And that's something that I promised a lot of people a long time ago. And I wasn't able to fulfill it because, well, a single computer can cannot stream 4K. It's just too much, man. It's too much workload. Fight me, bro. Some UFC, dude. Dude, I, I'm terrible at it right now. I just, just picked it up. I, I've never played the UFC. I have a problem. I'm, I'm like, I must have like the biggest downs ever when it comes to the submission system because my brain just does not want to get it even though it's the most simple concept ever. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't. The quadrant system that they have, I don't know what it is, man. My brain just goes full-blown tarred. Like, I, I, my, my inner tar just wants to rage hard, dude. Yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll get used to it. I, I, I just, every time I know I'm going against a freaking, uh, uh, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or anything like that, man, I just know I got to keep my distance and kick them in the freaking head, bro. I got to end this shit fast. Put them up against the cages and beat them up in like 30 seconds, man. I can't let them do that shit. I can't let them just impose themselves on me and put me in a nutsack twister. I can't do that. I ain't, a split two ain't going out by sniffing someone's ball sack, all right? That ain't gonna happen. Do I play online? No, dude, I, I was just playing the, uh, I was just playing the campaign, dude. It's been so long since I played a UFC game that it was like, it was kind of refreshing to to come on and play a new game and and just kind of play it in uh, offline mode and career. I didn't start off on easy. I started off on normal, so I'm not that big of a noob. I, I get the button combos and stuff like that, right? Like. Online is so fun. Don't even get me started. Dude, yeah, I, I don't I can't even talk about my my experience with the first UFC game online. It was I was bad. I was a naughty person. Okay, I was bad back then when I was gaming. It was really bad. Okay. I used to submit people with rear naked chokes all day. That's all I would do. Rear naked choke. That's it. Always start on the hardest, best way to improve. Yeah, I just wanted to give this playthrough a go around. Uh, kind of get used to the buttons and, and stuff. So since it's been so long, it did take me long to kind of get used to it. Now I learned a lot just with the normal playthrough. So um, the next one I start up will probably be on hard. Not hardest because it's just like you can't do anything. Like the computer won't let you do nothing. Like you're like, oh, you you'll you'll like reset like 40, 50, 60 times just to get past the first 10 seconds of the fight. You just get dominated. 
You're like, well, that just happened. <laughs> the NPC's like, hold my beer. <laughs> Watch this. I just go for combos and counters, man. I love sidestepping or, or, or gum or ducking down in and throwing a fat uppercut when someone tries to punch me and they just watch them just get smoked. So satisfying. Just pull a Mike Tyson on them, dude. Just get up inside there and just start throwing uppercuts. And just watch them be like, ah, because they don't know if it's coming to the body or the head because it's so deceiving with an uppercut. <laughs> The off the cage shit is cool. All the new stuff they've added, like the grappling, the mutai, and mutai, and, and everything like that, it's so crazy. They've done so much with the game, dude. Because that shit didn't exist. Like the cage fighting didn't even exist when I was playing before. Now it's like, what? You can do three sixty kicks off the fence and shit. What? <laughs> Did that just happen? Turn on the lights. Oh yeah, dude. Sorry about that, man. I do have a light I could probably plug in too up here somewhere, but. You sold your PS4 and that's the only game you miss? Dude, the UFC all around, those games, man, they've just done such a good job on them over the years, dude. I don't think they've slacked off on it at all. Like, great additions every. I mean, I've played a little bit of each version, but not like tried to get into it serious or anything, but. Um. Man, dude, they've done such a great job on that. They're making another one, dude. I can't wait for that. I'll bet definitely be picking that up. 100% be picking that up. No doubt. The old gold rush, too. Must. You miss fight night? I think I watched from pay-per-view like 80 or... No, it was like 60-something. I didn't miss one pay-per-view UFC fight from like 60-something to... I want to say like 110, 100, 100 and something. Yeah. It's like 110. Watched like every pay-per-view. We used to have uh, pay-per-view nights over at my brother's house and... Have a bunch of good food, a couple beers, and place bets on the fights, and fun times, dude. Fun times. Dude, fight night, yeah, fight night was good. You guys remember Knockout Kings? Oh, bro. That was my jam. MLB, I used to see when I, when I was a console player way, way back when I was really big into sports games. I, I used to love Madden and NBA and MLB and NHL. Oh, shit. Knockout Kings, dude. Dude, um, we had uh, <clears throat> we had a division in Washington State. I was let's see here. My I had 340 wins and like like three losses. And my three losses came within the first 20 fights that I had in the division. It was nuts, bro. I played Linux Lewis. Oh, God. I fucking... I just dominate. Just dominate, son. Everybody always wanted to play Evander Holyfield, man. Fuck that. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, dude, I, I I crushed hard on the PlayStation. That was actually my first. That was actually one of my very first competition settings for any, any game that I actually played was Knockout Kings. Um, yeah, man, destroyed. It was it was destruction. 
<laughs> I knew exactly how many times I could hit you in the kidneys and how many times I could uh, and do all the dirty cheap shit and get away with it. And then on top of it, like I knew all of it, man. I, I didn't. And there was it, I would do anything to win the fight. It didn't matter, man. If I knew I was going to get getting close to getting winded or knocked out, I was automatically going to hold you. You're going to get held. Um, every time I come out of a hold, it was always the Haymaker from Lennox Lewis, which was massive damage. Just massive, massive. Ridiculous, dude. And I had it down. My timing for him was just insane. No. Here, from, from, from Microsoft? No. Dude, WCW Nitro? Oh, on 64. That was a good one. Uh, WrestleMania was better, though, I feel. I feel WrestleMania for 64 was better. I played it longer, even though it was older. Like, it was just like the first WrestleMania. WrestleMania 2000 was kind of like, eh, but... I also got into a little bit of Smash Bros back then, but not much. I was more of a, I was more um, Rogue Squadron and stuff like that. That's why I'm super stoked to be playing. Um, I, w I can't wait for the new Star Wars game, the fighter pilot fighting uh, fighter pilot game. Looks sick as hell. There's 50 buckets? I don't know, man. I don't do math. I just farm until I can't farm no more. It, it, it should be fine. If, if you saved a lot of nugget money, it should be good. Does anybody remember Wave Runner for N64? Yeah, I used to love that game, man. I used to just love just sitting there and just playing that game for some reason man I just like I could just ride right on around the waves all the time and just do tricks and stuff it was just it was just badass I, I love the wave mechanic when it first came out because it was like nobody had anything like it but that Star Wars game that they came out with was banging though for N64 of the the first release that was a really great release of a console. Like all, like hands down, that console release with the games that they came out with on release day were just like wow. It was it was banging hard, dude. It was like holy crap. Like when the PlayStation first came out, there wasn't that many good games for it, dude. Oh, Pod Racer, uh, double controller or single? Double controller was way better. I, I think double controller was was legit way better. Not a lot of people knew you could play uh, Pod Racer with two controllers. Just the control you have over the engines and stuff like that was insane. Gran Turismo, yeah, Gran Turismo was one that I played a lot. I remember unlocking the dragster and the Formula One cars. Like, you go over to someone's house, dude, and you put in your memory card, and you're like, they're like, wait, what? You got an Indy car? What the? How did you get that, man? Be like, dude, marathon race, bro. Get with the times. Come on. What's up, Rob? You got through two buckets and no nuggets? Did you accept them or did you uh, turn them off? That is the question. If you turn them off, you won't get any more nuggets. If you reject that notification, you'll say it'll say no nuggets for you. And you won't get nuggets. What keys do I use for the loader? Uh, all default, all keyboard mouse. 
All 100% default. You accept it, but then you got no nuggets after that. Uh, well, typically you always get... There could be something bugged with your save. Uh, mining's going good. We had to shut the stream down earlier and come back, so... Uh, mining's going okay. We're just trying to finish out the 100 bucket challenge here, and then... And then we'll see how much gold we have, so we'll do a clean out. I use the excavator to rip off all the top of this for anybody who has... Well, well, that's why the front loader is a pain in the ass sometimes. Because when you try to take a... When you try to take a hit on the wall too high, you just blow up like that. And honestly, I wish it happened more. Because <laughs> the front loader... That'd be a pretty good nerf. If you try to, like, lift the bucket up too high and take dirt from too, too high up. Like, it needs to be nerfed. They need to figure it out somehow. It's just too godly, man. I'm just too lazy to move the wash plants, so I don't care about my yardage. Yeah, dude, that's that's rough, man. I know I know a lot of people are in that boat. It does it does take a beast mode of a computer to run. I mean, not really. You just gotta make sure your your you gotta make sure your graphics cards are up to date. And your graphics drivers and everything like that. Like if your graphics drivers and everything like that are super out of date, you're gonna have a lot of issues with this game. The the main thing I would say is definitely update your graphics drivers. because uh, we have a lot of people in the in the window liquor community here that got lower end PCs and, and they're able to pull off like 30 to 40 frames per second on low settings and bumping the resolution down to like 720p. At least you're still able to play it, but it doesn't look the best, but you're able to play it still. So there could be a driver issue you're having or something like that. So make sure you go through all your drivers and make sure they're up to date and, and make sure you don't got a lot of crap running in the background when you're playing. And uh, it's pretty intensive, right? Now, if you have a brand new computer and you're having these problems, I really don't know what to tell you because I don't have problems like that. So I know a lot of other people are like, oh, well, I, I have a, I have a 20, I have two 2080 TIs and I got a 9900K. I got 164 gigs of memory, but I'm lagging. This game sucks. Or it's more likely that your computer sucks balls because you built it like shit or you don't have that computer at all. Every time I always hear that, these guys like never can show a picture of their computer or anything like that. Like I stream off of my computer and play the game and I'm still holding 60 frames a second, so. Not to say that it doesn't have problems at all because I know that it does, but in general, as being a tester, I, I have not had any problems with it. Like really have not had any problems with the game. So if the developers ask me, hey, split, have you had any issues testing out the game over the last 150 hours? I tell them mm, this, this, and that, but other than that, no. Um, you know, so, and then, then what I do is I test it on my wife's computer. My wife has a completely different spec computer. It's uh, a little on the lower end compared to mine. Same outcome as well. And then what I do is I change the video card out and I go with a shit video card and same result. Do it again. Play a little bit. And uh, see if the same things keep popping up. If it doesn't, that's three separate computers and separate specs and it still works. So it could be on your computer end. It could be something installed properly. It could be you have maybe something faulty in your computer. Um, if, your game, if your computer's not running quite up to snuff, it could be having some issues. 
So try try a couple things. Um, hopefully you can get it to work, man. No, it's not the game. It's your computer's old. Hey, well, at least you got a head on your shoulders, dude. You know, just blame everything on the developers, man. I appreciate that. Knowing what you got and what it could do is important, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with having a potato. I understand. Been there. And these people in chat that are a beast mode, beast mode, help me to where I don't lag as bad in video games. And I can't thank them enough for that. Me, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not going to competitively play in leaderboards ever again, probably. Um, I just, I just don't care enough. I just want to be kind of like a broadcaster and just, just be a pillar for the community to have a place to hang out when leaderboards is going on and, uh, just kind of relax, you know, just, just chill. I just find the, I just find moving dirt relaxing and. Yeah, the game is very, very heavy on CPU, especially if you're playing it in 1080p. If you're in 1080p, it's going to, it's really going to use a lot of your, it's really going to use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of your, um, your CPU. You glad you don't have a computer being a poor house? Yeah, it's hard, man. That's why people are like, dude, play this game, play this game, play this game, play this game. It's like, bro, I don't got that much money, man. Who do you think I am? PewDiePie? Fuck. Come on, dude. <laughs> Shit, man. No, like not not every streamer can like go out and just like drop hundreds of dollars on video games every month i wish my wife would be mad but I wish. These stupid buckets are in my way. Yeah, it, it, it is for me too as well. It is a super relaxing game. Gold Rush has been, uh, it's been great, dude. Like it's been a, like, honestly, like I, when I, when I first looked at gold rush and I saw what its capabilities were, I told myself, I was like, you know, this is going to be a three to four to 5,000 hour game that I play. It's just fun. I like the grind. There's plenty of grindable content here. The dirt is the content for people that don't get it. They don't get the premise of the game. They're like, I don't understand it. The, the dirt is the content that you digging in the dirt is the content. Right, like, and it, it, it it's funny when people don't get what the game's about. It's like, dude, it's gold mining. You dig dirt. That is the content. The dirt is the content. It's different every time. You're close. You only need hundred four million. Dude, I don't. I don't even know, man. That'd be so weird. I don't even know. My brain doesn't. Can't even think that big, dude. That's just insane. Dude, if I had that kind of cash rolling that that dude just got every month, I'd be definitely doing shit better than Mr. Beast for my viewers, that's for sure. Holy crap, dude. 
I'd be like Oprah up in this bitch. You want a new computer? Ed, you got a new computer. Oh, hey, look under your desk. Ed, you got a new computer. And then I pop out from under your desk. Ed, you got a new computer. Dude, I'm like, the front end loader is the worst thing that I use. <laughs> Terrible with this thing. Oh, you'd like me under your desk, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing, right? Because a lot of people are like, dude, I don't I don't ever want to see your no offense, but I don't ever want to see your channel get big because then it might lose the lose the feel that it has right now. And it's like, you know. You know, and and I and I fully I fully understand that because it is difficult to to keep that feel of a small channel and a chill, nice vibe. But you know, things things go. You know, things pop off, things crack off. Head my lap, baby. <laughs> yeah, boy. What's up, Hunter? You missed me, dude. I missed you, man. It's been a while. Dude, those are names I remember. Your name's like Jeff or something like that. I'm like, I don't remember you. There's too many Jeffs. There's only so many Hooners. And also his name's pretty close to Pooner, so. Yeah. Amanda? Amanda went camping. With her dad and her uh, nephew. Oops, already full. Losing dirt. Herp or derp. Yeah, man. Like I said, dude, I always like hearing that you guys are working and kicking ass, man. Kicking ass, taking names, dude. I'd rather have you guys working and, and kicking ass, dude, than sitting here watching me, dude. Being productive is important, and I'm glad that you're uh, working and shit, dude. Camping right now. I chose to stay home and play leaderboards and uh, hang out with you guys. That was my, uh, what I, I was like, you know, if it was if it was a couple weeks into the leaderboards, I would have just taken a couple days off and went camping, but... I didn't want to miss opening day and stuff like that. I told you guys I'd be here and stuff, so. <clears throat> if my name was Nachos, would you remember that? M maybe? What's up, rascal? I'm just farming a stupid amount of buckets right now with the tier two and there's no real reason for it. So anybody watching this in the future, just wondering why there's no reason. Okay. There's no like, there's no like hardcore explanation of what I'm doing other than I'm just farming buckets and not paying attention to my screen. Um, I'm literally not even staring at my screen. <laughs> I'm like watching something else on another monitor and chatting with you guys. <laughs> Uh, Splitting two after hours, bro. What's he doing? Barely watching this game, playing the game, playing another game. Okay, I'm playing Hearthstone. Leave me alone. All right, I'm playing freaking Hearthstone. Been a long day, bro. There you am, dude. Chris, take it easy, my man. You bucket full. You can't even give him shit with this out his reading problems, dude. Whatever, man. I just don't want to read that crap. I'm trying to play fucking Hearthstone over here. God damn it. You know how hard it is to play Hearthstone and play Gold Rush at the same time and then read your crappy comment? Come on, bro. You gotta give me you gotta give me more credit than that. That's not fair.
Do you feel like console is coming out soon? Thanks for the content to hold us over. No problem, man. Take that, Jeff. See? Read that one all right. Punk ass. You can read now. <laughs> it's how much effort I want to stop and look at the screen and read it versus just guess it, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm a ge I'm a skimmer and a guesser, dude. It, it happens. It happens, man. You guys, you guys caught me after all these years. You guys, you guys caught on, dude. It only took two years. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, bros, well, you, you respond to a lot of comments. Yeah, but half of the shit he's saying has nothing to do with the context of what the person said. Well, whatever. <laughs> Perfect strat. It worked. The jig's up now, though. Damn it. Gotta go back to reading shit. Even Amanda asked me the other day. She's like, do you really have reading problems? And I was like, no. I just look at like the first like three things, man. And my brain just guesses and I just go with it, man. Because now that's more of a thing on my channel than anything. How bad is Split going to mess up a name? Or how bad is he going to fuck up his words today? That's pretty much... <laughs> that's pretty much what most of you guys are waiting for. How bad is he going to mess up a Michael or a Michelle or a Mitchell? All right, okay. That's just my dyslexia, dude. I, I have a problem with that anyways. That's that's really bad. Not, not gonna lie, dude. I'm giggling like a schoolgirl here. <laughs> it's so true, bro. It, it is. I, I know it is, too. That's why it's funny, man. That's why it doesn't piss me off. Drink more beer, dude. I'm sober as hell right now, dude. I don't need beer. It's just me. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, man. Dude, no, it happens. It's it happens bad. It's it's something. I don't know what it is about that. Even you typing it, and me looking at it like fifty times, I still want to get it confused in my brain. It's just my dyslexia, bro. I can't. I don't know what it is. Ever since I've been in school, I always had a problem with fucking with uh with certain names. Always, 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 always. It's only certain ones. Even though I look at it and I know what it is, my brain says no. It's like, no, dude, that ain't gonna happen. Just, it's just, it's what's up, dude? It happens. I feel like these buckets are filling up ridiculously fast. Like faster than they should be. Yeah. Well, I I would say no to that too as well. I can't I can't remember a face to save my life, dude. I can remember a booty though. You show me a nice booty, I'll be like, I know who she is. That's Bethany. Cause Jimmy's the boss. <laughs> Call Jeffrey Jeffrey. <laughs> Knew there's a reason why I didn't like that damn show. Nah, I think it was cause all the like the brother on sister humping going on. That's why I didn't like it. That was a little too messed up for me, dude. Way too much incest going on in that show. Wait, 
in my nose and Amanda's? Pfft, whatever she points them out for me, dude. What's she talking about? Well, she'll even look at me and tell me I'm looking at one that's not even I shouldn't be wasting my time with. She's got she's got she's got the she's got the look, man. She'll look at me and be like, really? Why are you looking at that one? When you could be looking at this one, I'll be like, damn, good eye, girl. What up? Thanks for looking out for it, bro. She'll even tell me when to stare and when not to stare. Okay? Like, that's what's up in this relationship. Alright? This marriage. She'll be like, it's okay to stare right now. She's not looking. Or she wants you to look. It's okay. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> grabby, grabby? No. Hands off. Oh. Damn it. Your lady does the same thing, dude. Yeah, it's uh, it's slowly going away though over the years though. Now she's kind of getting a little bit more picky about it. So it's like, come on, man, you can't, you can't start out the relationship and the marriage being a certain way, and then changing all of a sudden. Can't do that. And then now you're just hurting my brain and my feelings. Okay. Because I don't tell you how many times you can watch Aquaman, okay? I let you have your little merman. Okay. Let her grab it, grab it, and you enjoy the moment. Mm. Nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. Nope. I can't. That's where my, that's where my brain just has a meltdown. Midget clown porn is hard to find, dude. What? Are you... I don't even want to know what your search history is, dude. I don't want to know. This guy over here, dude. What's up, Brian? am I <laughs> no doubt don't need to go into anybody's porn search history you know just saying because we definitely know that Rix's would be like soldier 76 from overwatch it wouldn't be like mercy or anything like that. It'd be <laughs> oh, Soldier 76, get off my lawn. Get off my lawn, you damn punk. I just heard my name. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Nothing at all. Go back to what you were playing. Go on back to what you were playing. 
Jimmy needs a drink. So Jimmy's putting in work. All right, Jimmy needs a drink when he's uh when he's damn good and ready. Come here, Jimmy. Damn. Do we need to do a bucket count here, Sam? There 100% needs to be a bucket count. Oh, probably going to be starting to do a cleanup here soon. So maybe like an hour and a half, maybe two at most. I would say. Shooting bad guys in division two. So you like hardcore raiding in that now or what's up? I liked it until it was like mandatory raid size. I, didn't, oh, I don't like the mandatory raid size. I was just like, I, I was so over mandatory raid sizes in like World of Warcraft, dude. I hate like having to like find people and expect people to show up on time and shit, dude. Just, nah, I'm done with that. I'm done with that in my gaming, my gaming career here. I'm done. I hate relying on other people to show up. Or it's like, I just got in a fight with my sister. I can't perform well tonight. And you're like, I don't care. I didn't get in a fight with your sister. She was perfectly fine with me last night. Well, what's your problem is? She ain't fine with me though. Then the guy freaks out and spazzes out. You don't know nothing about my sister. And you just send him over the edge, and then you're just like, dude, I was just kidding, man. It's all right, dude. You want you want to kill some stuff to get over it? Like hooked him into streaming for the day, or or, uh, or raiding for the day. Nah, even reliable teammates, man. Uh, it's still, uh, like, dealing with people's fucking moods and shit all the time, dude, it's just not my thing. I raided professionally in World of Warcraft for many years and have dealt with many types of people, and it's just... Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. Because I'm, like, one of those type of people, like, when I'm in a clan or a guild, dude, I'm, like, 99, 100% attendance. Like, I never miss unless it's, like... It's rare. People like think I died or something if I missed a, a raid or a boss fight or something. They're like, what happened, dude? Where's Flicko? Well, you fucking missed a raid. Well, that's why. Something something must be wrong, dude. Get the bath phone. I raided in a few Aussie guilds uh, during uh, Burning Crusade. The only problem I had was when it was drink time, it was too much drink time. Boss killing time. My only problem with the damn Aussies. And they give their loot away to women too much for no reason. That was, my, that was my only two things about playing with Australian WoW players. They see a girl, all the loots go to the girls. It's like, oh my god, guys, it's not going to get you anywhere. Stop trying. Just because you give her epics doesn't mean anything. You're not getting anywhere closer. And beer time. Sucky sucky for loot. Nah, dude, it's not even that. It's just like, I don't know what it is, man. Like, when guys... When guys play, they just can't, they can't stop from like e-boying out on, on girls, right? Like, it's like, dude, it's never going to happen. Don't piss everybody else off here just so you can like talk to her and she's never going to do anything with you ever. Ozzy's hard addicted to e-girls. <laughs> yeah, dude, I knew this way back before e-girls were like even a thing. I was like, what is wrong? Like it's, 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 it happens in every game, but for some reason, Australian WoW players, man, they can't stop e-girling it hard, bro. It's, like, bad. They'll break guilds apart, apart for it, dude. They don't even care. They don't even give a crap. They're just like, nope, don't care. It's gonna be the War of the Simp e-girl. Aussie edition. What's up, Francis? Mac Theradon? 
I played, uh, let's see here. Oof. I played Illidan, Horde Side. When I was with Blood Legion. I played, uh, I played, was it Maelstrom? Quite a bit. And what else was the other one? What's the other one we just played on? I can't remember the name of it. It's, we can't ring, it's not ringing a bell. Played on Skywall. That's where I got my, my AQ-40 mount. I was on Skywall. I can't think of the name. I cannot think of the name of the damn server. It's not Maelstrom. It's another, it's a massively large populated horde server. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a famous one. I just can't think of the name of it right now. It's not ringing a bell to me. Oh, it was the last one that I played on for mythic rating. I don't know. Whatever. Nah, that's Storm Rage. It wasn't Thrall either. Thrall was like the other big horde PV, uh, PVE, PvP server. Mm, can't think of the name. Alright, TJ, dude, take it easy, red. Uh, I, I played a, I played a no mage on Area 52 for a little while. For a little bit, but it wasn't. That's not the server I'm thinking of. It can't. It can't be freaking. No, it's not Maelstrom. Maelstrom was a small pop server. Oh, what server was it? I think of the name of it. It'll pop to me, but. No, not Tychondrius. I want to say Cadgar, but it wasn't Cadgar. I don't know. I I can't. It doesn't bring a bell. Oh, Tychondrus is terrible. It's a terrible server. <laughs> I would agree. Terrible server. Holy crap, terrible. Dude, now it's going to irritate me. It's going to irritate me what server that is. I don't have to, like, look it up, man. I ma I mainly played Horde. Uh, in vanilla, I played a little bit of... Um, I played a little bit. Uh, only because my friend wanted me to play his Horde Paladin account. Not his Horde, Horde Paladin. Fucking Alliance Paladin. Uh, just to be a, a slot raid filler. But uh, that was the only... That and a couple other times when I played Alliance a little bit. Just barely. Mainly, predominantly played Horde. That's where most people recognize the Split in Two name from. Is uh, my, my Orc Warrior. I was world ranked like top DPS in the world for um, Lich King. For almost every fight. As a fucking fairy warrior. Get some. Malganus, there it is. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I knew when it popped to me it would come in. Yeah, Malganus was the, the server. Uh the guild that I ran was rank uh three for a while. During um not last one, but a couple expansions. it's like expansion and a half ago or two or whatever it was. I don't know, I, I haven't played for like, I haven't really sat down and played for, I think it's been three or four years. Yeah, I played a lot in Burning Crusade. Uh, I didn't play a lot of Cataclysm, and I didn't play a lot of... Um, I didn't play hardly any Cataclysm at all. 
um, because I just I had just moved over here to be with Amanda and and I didn't play a lot of those expansions. Missa Pandaria, I didn't really play that. Uh, f yeah, I played I played the first like played mainly a lot in BC and vanilla, a lot. A lot, a lot. Now? I wonder how many buckets I'm at. If I'm over like a hundred by a lot, I'm going to be mad. This is what I get for not counting. <laughs> like, it's like, why? I don't, I don't know. Just, just mine. Just, just pulling dirt, I guess. I don't know. I'm in the zone. I'm playing Hearthstone right now, like I was saying. <laughs> kind of like doing both, dude. Kind of playing Hearthstone. Ugh. Doubled up on that one on that side. Gross. Yeah, well, like, uh, I was in a, I was in a guild with, uh, Bubba, I trained Bubba to be a recruitment officer for the Mythic Raiding Guild and trained him, trained him to be a raid leader and stuff like that. And so that's kind of where my and Bubba's relationship kind of started back. But the funniest thing was, is that, um, just with sitting down and chatting with him and hanging out with him for over the years that we raided together, it was, uh, kind of funny how many games we'd actually played against each other. And then we kind of got talking about one day we were like one day we were sitting there kind of just chatting and he's like did you ever have you ever played a game called america's army i was like yeah bro i i played a lot of america's army i was uh one of the top ranked uh, twl match players in that game and he's like well what was your name and i told him my name and he was like did you play freaking sf hospital all the time and i was like yep and sf pipeline all the time and he's like you gotta be kidding me. You know how many times you fucking camped me and killed me? Like, in that game, <laughs> I was like, so we just started, like, laughing because it was like, dude, I was like, I, I hunted the VIP so many times on that map. I was like, bro, I'm, I don't care, man. I'm coming for him, dude. I don't care if I gotta go through six guys, dude. I'm gonna get this fucker asshole. Ah! And it ended up being Bubba. It was hilarious. He was like, you fucking asshole. And he's like, I knew it. He's like, I knew it. I knew your name sounded familiar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would be why, dude. I shot you about a billion times in the head. I hope you remember me. <laughs> you got shot enough times. Some of your best friends who came from gaming? Yeah, man. Absolutely, dude. Like, uh, a lot of uh, people I still talk to from back in the RuneScape days. Um, not very many from World of Warcraft, to be honest. I mean, it was... A lot of the events that happened in that game that I was a part of, I just, it was not very favorable. It was very, very, um, a lot of just backstabbing and bullshit crap. I just don't like, I just can't handle the, the high school drama mentality of some of the people that play that game. And unfortunately it's a lot in raiding guilds. It's a lot. It happens a lot. Like I remember playing with Asmund before Asmund was even anything before he was even a streamer and that dude is a fucking tool and I still don't like him to this day I think the little fake facade that he's putting on for for everybody to make him seem like a good guy is a bunch of bullshit because I remember that guy would just backstab and just screw anybody at any second in any moment and I highly doubt that that has changed dude not joking the day I had I had gallbladder I had gallbladder surgery right and it was on a raid day i put in we had to put you had to put in time to get time off from the raid schedule i put in time three weeks in advance before the raid schedule and which was like the minimum was was a week and a half 
I put in three weeks. The day of my surgery, the douchebag deletes my fucking post. So it makes it seem like I didn't post anything. So when the officers went to go look up my uh, reason for not being there, there was nothing. He fucking deleted my post, dude. So it made me look like I was a no-show. Just so he could steal my fucking raid spot that he couldn't earn on his own because he sucked balls. What a douche. God, I don't like that guy. <laughs> dude. Mm. <laughs> that dude strikes a nerve hardcore. Like, ugh. Don't like him. Yeah, I came back to being kicked out of the guild, dude. It was so insane. It was so insane, man. Like, I'm like, bro, I, I posted a thing. I even had the the post. It just wasn't there in the forums. And they were like, yeah, sure, whatever. He was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Anybody could just make that up. It's no big deal. And this little butt buddy McConnell was like, yeah, dude. You know, like I'm like, sure, you're going to say something, you fucking bench warmer. You can't even make the damn raid team. Shut up. Then uh, I was like, okay, whatever. And then I just went to the rivals and we crushed the shit out of them. Just crushed them. Completely crushed them. They had no chance. We took all their server first and everything. We just booty wrecked them. That way you can't get a server first, huh? Because you suck. <laughs> it, it was war, bro. It was not make love. It was make it was make war. <laughs> nope. No server first for you, bro. No world first either. Taking that from you as well. Get some. Yeah, he definitely struck a nerve that day with me. For sure. <laughs> for sure, dude. 100% piss me to F off. Nah, I just found it to be so low, right? Like, take advantage of somebody when they're getting a surgery. Dude, I had 100% raid attendance. I had the highest DKP in the guild. I could purchase anything I wanted, dude. It didn't matter. It didn't matter what it was. I was the number one healer in the guild, dude. And he influenced them that bad in the period of three days dude three days he was up their butthole when i was gone to try to get me gone like that's how bad he wanted it that bad so did you start hunting guild members yeah dude we um we paid all the lobby guilds on our server with gear to uh, camp their guild outside of uh, outside of Molten Core and stuff like that and all the other raids. Any raid that they were going to, there was like 150 people there ready to camp them. We were taking that server first, dude, at all costs. We were taking it, man. It didn't matter. We'd buy out, buy out people and and uh, pay them off with like uh, runs on their alts, even if they were other factions and stuff, we didn't care. It was like, nope. I was the first horde paladin though, in the world. If anybody didn't know that, I was the first horde paladin in the world. I was the only one that didn't get banned because I didn't do anything. Everybody else cheated their way to, to the first for for first horde paladin, and uh, I was the only legitimate one left standing after the bans, so they dubbed me first horde paladin in the in in the world pretty much. 
because everybody else cheated. I didn't use any, but I didn't use any leveling partners. I didn't use any group glitches, anything like that. I just straight uh, quest grinded, and uh, and the crazy thing was, is I only, I was only behind the guys who actually got carried, and did the glitching and stuff like that. I was only like not even like fifteen hours behind them, right? So. How many buckets am I up to, dude? I don't know, man. It's a lot. I pretty much filled a whole other truck up full of buckets, and then I ran those two. I'm probably over a hundred, dude. I don't. I don't know. I couldn't tell you at the moment. I'm just putting dirt in the wash plant, reminiscent about shitty World of Warcraft days. I mean, I had some good ones too, right? I had I had some really good moments, and I'm not gonna say all moments were terrible, because they weren't. Not all moments were bad. I lost count a lot of buckets ago. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm just going around this wash plant like a tool. When I could just be going like this. Ha ha ha! Look at me. I got smart all of a sudden. <laughs> that's how bad the, the fucking PTSD from Asmund Gold was. God damn it. You're losing dirt. Oh, no shit. He just woke up, that's all. Yeah. Dude, earlier today, man, I don't know. That's a, that's a funk, bro. I just got woke. It took some PTSD. It took some wow PTSD to make me woke. <clears throat> then I went full blown Karen level there for a couple minutes. Sorry, guys. I apologize. Dude, I was at 66 buckets before I got that big giant pile of buckets. And that was two, that was 40 something buckets ago. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know how many I'm at now. I better be at 100. That's all I gotta say. If I'm not at 100 right now, I'm gonna be pissed. It's all good, bro. I haven't gotten a nugget for a while. I want another nugget. I know there's one coming. It's just when. Ew, gross. What a pile of crap. Could have been worse. <laughs> Could have vortexed me with the paper mill. Ugh. <sighs> No, thanks, bro. Paper mill oven? Hell no, dude. I know exactly what you're talking about. And no. Jasper wants one of my nuggets. 
time is it? Little buddy's probably got to go outside. No, he just went outside. He didn't do anything. Is he sleeping? Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out cold. He doesn't want to wake up. He didn't even want to go outside last time. He's just like, leave me alone, bro. I want to sleep. I'm like, get your ass outside. You're going to the bathroom. Because Amanda is the one normally takes him outside when I go when I'm streaming, so. She's not here, so I got to make sure I take little buddy outside to go potty. Oof. Gross, dude. No, thank you. I don't like, I don't like the heat, man. <laughs> Under half slice of cheese, you'll be up instantly, dude. Yeah, man. Or a beef jerky wrap or uh, package, dude. He'll be like, I swear if I like, I, I give him an empty uh, bag of beef jerky. And I take the little salt thingy out of it. The, dehy the dehydrator thing or dehydrator thing. He'll like literally be occupied for like three days with that thing, man. He doesn't even care. That's like, that's like what I give him, man. When like, he's like, he's, when he's been a good boy. You get an empty beef jerky bag. I know it sounds weird, but he won't even chew on it or anything. He just sits there and licks it like the inside of it and tries to turn it inside out. And then he just licks it. That's all he does. He just, he's so happy and content, man. He's just like, I'm so happy right now with this empty beef jerky bag. <laughs> Pays the bills for sure, dude. Gotta do what you gotta do. My first gold rush crash in how many days? God damn. Hopefully you have an auto save. First gold rush crash in a long ass time. Ooh, gross. Like six minutes ago. Chuckin? I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. Have a good night, bro. Dude, that's been like... Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, bro, can I like have my hoe? Can I have it back? That's like the first crash I've had in a really long time. Like a really, really, really long time. It's so odd to me because I haven't crashed in such such a long time. It's like, damn, that's rare. Now, that was a hard crash. That was a unity crash. Just, it's your fault, bro. You brought this doom upon me. I don't think it can be as worse as season one, where it was like literally we were, everybody was crashing like every 15 minutes. 
because the server syncing issue and the the cloud saves and stuff like they're having some massive 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 syncing issues dude like out of the 400 hours that i played i probably had to redo like over a quarter of it it was insane happened to you when you're going to change a bucket could just be random just a little glitch in the unity thing but uh, i'll definitely send make sure you send your bug reports in or your uh make sure you send the crash report in so yeah or you can send them to so yeah or you can send them to jack or anybody like that Dude, yeah, season one was bad. Like, we had to trooper through that shit, bro. I mean, anybody who was still left at the end of it was like, all right, I don't want to hear about anybody's bullshit crashes. Like, all the people who were complaining, like, last season that they made patches and had glitches and bugs. It's like, bro, did you even play in season one? I don't want to hear anything about... This is nothing compared to season one. <laughs> like, and we troopered through it, dude, so... We figured out when it was happening, told people to save, why it was happening. We just beasted it out, man. Oh, yeah, a lot of my stress was the crashes. Well, and trying to fix them, too, right? And help the devs fix them. But narrowing what down what the problem actually is, uh, what's going on. Um, you know, plus there were some other things going on with the game, too. Uh, quite a bit of exploiters and stuff like that using exploits that they weren't able to get patched pre-leaderboards coming out, so. And there's still a few remaining ones, but... They're really hard to stumble across. Very, very hard to stumble across. But there are a few left in the game. They're extremely obvious if you use them too, so... People will be like, oh, split. Well, you could just use them. No, it's obvious. It's 100% obvious. There's no way you can get away with not... There's no way if you used it that people wouldn't know you used uh, an exploit or a glitch of some sort. Like, hey, Split, how in the hell do you have, uh, you've only, you only played like 50 hours, dude. How do you have like 300,000 ounces, bro? Don't worry about it, man. I'm just that good. Leave me alone. Right now, that you can't, you can't play that card, dude. On a serious note, you can use, move more yards. Yeah, with two, yeah, I probably could run four. I'm missing a little dirt, but that's all right. It'd probably be optimal just to run three of them crammed together. That way you can like pick and choose a side to favor, depending on what one got full more. Looks like say they have some menu tearing that needs to be fixed. I'll go ahead and tell them about that. A couple little things. A couple little things here and there.
Thank God you didn't have to use that save. Yeah, no doubt, right? Going okay, Matthew. Just grinding. Being a nib. Being a big dumbo. Dropping dirt off. I I honestly don't know how many buckets I'm at right now. I I really couldn't tell you. I'm not giving up until I get another nugget though. I want them nuggets. Ew. So many rocks fell off of there. Gross. Should I count them, guys? Should I count and see what we got? Sure, why not? Let's see what we got here. Okay, we're at 10. Like fifty right there. Oh, God, there's fifty there. Damn, I went way over a hundred buckets, bro. I was gonna pay attention, man. Just massacring out buckets. There's 51 there. Then there's 40 here. That's 90. That's 100 and 100, 100, 107. All right, all right. I guess it's time for a clean out then, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, went a little ham 
My bad. <laughs> Riposaurus Rex over here. Uh, rip. All right. It's time to go to town. Time to buy a wave table and some separators. This shit going on here. Oops. Gonna pan, fuck off, little. Gonna pan them all. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of buckets for only, like, taking that much of the claim out. I really didn't take that much of the claim. <laughs> little. You pan them, right? <laughs> See you next year, dude. All right. Let's go, uh, smelt some gold. Hey, it's, it's the opening, it's the opening week, man. I gotta get in and put my numbers in early so I don't have to do as much later. That's what it is. It's all, it's all about. Dude, no, you couldn't, you couldn't, the, there, you would have to have a gigantic number for me to, to don't, to don't know to me, for me to pan all those. I mean, there, there would be a number, but it would have to be ridiculous. We're talking, we're talking like thousands and thousands. I wouldn't, nope, I wouldn't, there, nope, not gonna happen. That's over 400 pans. Hell no. Is the screwdriver supposed to have an animation? I, it should, it should rotate, but it might not because it doesn't look like it has a, it may, you may not notice that it's turning because um, it, uh, it doesn't really have an indicator of whether it's turning or not, you know what I mean? Cause it looks the same identically all the way around. So I'll gladly accept that challenge. Cause there is, there is a definite, uh, a large amount. I would challenge that, but in, you ain't reaching it. I'll tell you that much. You guys would have to be some millionaires up in this bitch. Drop me like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, dude. I wouldn't do it. No, hell no. Much as I like panning and stuff in this game. Hell no. Nope. It's like somebody asked me how much it would cost uh, in donos for me to to mine out all of old Arnold with just a shovel, and I was like, "100 k. I'd do it for 100 k, because it would take me a long ass time. 100 k. Yeah, how long I'd have to do that. We sit there shoveling with the damn shovel to clear out all that there. 100 k, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> you better have some lottery money there." Yeah, if it's not rotating or anything like that, just put it in. It might be a bug. Or they might have taken it out. It might be a feature. They'll respond to you pretty quick. <laughs> Old Arnold for 100k and Wild Pine. Whatever. Come on, man. Get, you're lucky if I give you Rivertown for 100k. <laughs> Mm. All right. Now I just hope that the buckets weren't trash heap. That's why we're not getting rid of anything right now. <laughs> the hog pan and the whole claim only done with a shovel. All dirt moved has to be with a shovel. Dude, brutal. 
brutal. Yep. Somebody told me that they did it. I cleaned out the whole, I cleaned out all of old Arnold, uh, the whole claim with a shovel. And like, he told me he was starting the project, like not even like a week and a half before he was like, dude, I completed it, bro. Here, look, I got the screenshot. I'm like, dude, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fool me, bro. Like it, it doesn't, you didn't clean the whole fucking thing out in a week and a half. You kidding me? Whatever. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Get stabbing, man. No one believes that shit. Front loader's a big shovel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Cold hunters lose up to its hype. We have a better chance of Jasper getting younger. <clears throat> All right, Max Epps. Dude, I'll just, yeah. God damn it, I kind of want to get two. Uh -huh. This is going to take a while. We need a power splitter. Yep. Yep. Cool. Should be okay with that. Oh, another water. Just grab a couple of those. Two mag steps, yeah. Just to speed it up. I want to blast through the uh, mag steps, the mag separator separation. I can steal a big power cord from the. Uh, with the wash plant el bueno of the wash plants he's he's out cold he's laying here next to me he's out cold he's having little puppy dreams little man jasper stinky fart dreams nah he, he's just chilling he's sleeping He's just sleeping since I took him outside. He went around and ran out. And he ran around outside in the grass for like five minutes and like was rubbing his face all over the grass and rolling around and shit like that, dude. He just tired himself out and then he came in and just immediately went to sleep. Uh, no Mac trailer yet, no. Not yet. We'll grab it later. See how much I got first, and then I'll probably run back in and grab it if I need it. I know it might not need it at the moment. I will need it, but not, not at the moment. Fine, you got me. I should have bought a freaking ma goddamn trailer. <laughs> Damn it. We'll just do the cleanup down here. Cause that's where the water and the power is already at. Reported for not getting a mag trailer. <laughs> that's it. You're being reported. That's it. <laughs> 
No Mac trailer. There must be something fishy going on here. Yep. Damn, Split. Get with the game, bro. I know, man. I'm just so terrible, dude. What do you want me to say? Do 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 do. 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 For now. Yeah, for now. Okay. It's gray on the pay record. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a YouTube strike for no mag trailer. <laughs> That's it. I can't condone this behavior any longer. <laughs> you didn't get a mag trailer. I've had this sneaky feeling the cleanouts gonna be shitty for some reason. They seem to be really bad, and I'm gonna have to keep mining. <laughs> even even with the hundred buckets, dude. It's gonna be. A, I'm gonna get Hoffman hard. Just watch this. Did you guys notice? You, did you guys notice that I didn't have one freeze at all? I did my I didn't have one freeze out. It didn't it didn't freeze anything. Not once did it freeze. That's kind of weird. What's up, Melon? How you doing, man? And he jinxed it. It's global warming, bro. <laughs> Damn it. Where's my other uh, cable? Oh, it's up here. I can just use this one. Should be enough. Yeah, buddy. Oh, where's my other power gen at? I thought I had another one up here somewhere. There you are. And we need this one. All right, let's get this mag separating done. Oh, this is a little community bucket. No, 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 no. Hey, no. I said no. Cat post, come on. She like, oh my god, she won't try to keep. She keeps trying to jump over my monitors and try to crawl under them, dude. It's so not cool. She's gonna fuck my monitors up like something fierce. She's being super moody right now because Amanda's not here. I have a bad feeling about this, these numbers, so... I don't know if I was in dirt or I wasn't in good dirt. I was a digging, man. Forty six ounces of uh, mag in the bucket. It's not a good sign.
I'm saying I get like 10 ounces, bro. Oh, they, they changed it? Really? Crazy. Fucking cry babies. All right, just cause I got to see how much this is. If it's like two ounces, dude, I think the front loader doomed me. We'll see if it's low, it's probably gonna be low. If it's really super freaking low, dude, it's gonna hurt. Ah, three seven. That's not bad. Okay. Even even at a hundred buckets, a three seven. That's so three point five at a hundred. That's not bad. Okay, then that should be. Hopefully, that's a lower end bucket. Just start doing the chain down the down the chain here. So the 46 ounces is giving me the threes. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna give me like three ounce buckets coming out of there. The 57, okay. Yeah, here with the gram talk, bro. Yeah, we don't do grams here, man. We weigh in big boy ounces, okay? Yeah, they're pretty low. Damn it, I was trying to flick the bucket. Come on, man. No, I'm still running T2, man. My first clean out.
Yeah, you missed it like 12 hours. 13, 14 hours worth of playing. Come on, little wave table. You can do it. We gotta go get some more. We gotta grab all the buckets from around the other side. Well, the good thing is, is if the front loader did give me a shit load of crap, crap gold, I still have a bunch of buckets up there that were all pulled out of uh, with excavators. So hopefully the excavator is my saving grace here. Pull some bigger numbers out of those. <clears throat> Damn, bro, should have got two wave tables. How bad they nerfed here too. I know they've been doing some tweaking, but damn. You're watching some Aussie gold hunters, man? Yeah, it's not bad. Ugh. All right, little dude, take it easy, buddy. It doesn't matter the angle. You guys ask me that every time. It doesn't matter. Take it easy, broski. Well, and we'll, we'll, we'll see what the numbers are at the top. The 51 has been like 55 has been like one of my best buckets of mags so far. So we'll tell, but then again, it's this claim is notorious for having shitty dirt at the bottom. So if that's the case, then I was pulling a lot of really bad low gold from the bottom of the buck of the bottom of the claim. That's no big deal. Volume over anything else. Look at that. 
Only the time will tell. Yeah, if all those buckets are roughly the same and all those buckets are roughly the same, then we had to hit a hot spot in here somewhere. There's no way we didn't hit a hot spot. I would like be fucking dumbfounded if I managed to not hit a hot spot. <laughs> what? Like all my gold's in the back and there's nothing up here. The mag will, the mag will indicate roughly how much gold you're getting out of your, roughly how much gold you're going to get. The more mag, the higher the concentrated gold normally. Well, yeah, it's just the way it is. It doesn't work any other way, really. So these 4.4 .4 ounce buckets are giving me like 3.3 .3 ounces a, a bucket. Uh, most of these buckets were all tier two, uh, with the, with the, um, the front loader. So there might've been 10 of them down here that were, that were not front loaders. So. Anyway, we look at it, it's gold. Hmm. Come on, man, you got another wave table. Keep on rolling. Go oh, rolling. Yep, higher mag, higher concentration. There we go. That's not a bad bucket. 58. No, 54. God damn it. I just lost the bonus right there. Uh, the 54%. Dude, I just lost 4% on a bucket. Gross. How much longer do I plan on streaming for tonight? Well, I'll probably get this cleanup done, and then I'll be probably done, though, dude. Uh, I've been going for for a long time, man. For a long time. This is not even all of my circuit with all the other buckets too. Trying to go cross-eyed. fourth place was about making maybe fifth sorry bro
Come on, baby. Give me that money. Hope for some bigger number turnarounds here. Come on, my dude. Come on, my dude. No, there's no way. Tom already got to a tier t to a tier three. He's a he's a hardcore renter, so he went straight to tier three. There's no way. I'm not pulling 400 ounces out of this. There's no no freaking way. You're gonna need quite a bit depending on when you buy the tier three. <clears throat> it's like 300 and something ounces, dude. The rock truck, everything, unless you rent rock truck. I need a bucket in there to do some uh, washing there, buddy. Yeah, 350 is normal. Seems about right. Let's go grab these buckets. You know when they disappear out of the darkness like that? That's kind of scary, right? Hopefully these ones are hitting striking hard. Hopefully I had a fat streak in there somewhere with that excavator. I mean, did a lot of ripping with the excavator, man. Like I did, I did a lot. I did a lot of ripping with that hoe. Like just like the last 20 or 30 buckets were just kind of like low grade because the either it's a spot I was in or just too much from the bottom with the old fronty loader. But the speed made up for it. I mean, I'll take the, I'll take the buckets, right? I'll take the three, five, three, threes. It's not a big deal. Get him at a fast rate anyway. So I figured do a hundred buckets, see what's going on. Take a looky and a little gander at what I got. 
He's losing it at tried. Tried what? Huh? You're trying to get me to look on Discord or something like that, dude. I don't know how that shit up right now. Getting sleepy. Getting cross eyed, dirt, damn, dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, 350 would buy. Yeah, I'm also set up. Hi, right, Greg. Uh, dude, all my marbles have been gone hours ago, man. They're all gone hours ago, dude. I didn't want to do the 100 bucket grind in one night. No. All right, let's get some fresh, cleaned out. I was tired, yeah. A bit of fog. A bit of haze. Arr. No! Fuck me. Damn it. Well, there went uh, quite a big percent. <laughs> no. Stop it. Split. Bad. Let the wave table do its thing, man. Don't try to rush it for the end of the day. You're not going to make it. Oopsie. At least it's only like five ounces or three. It's like three ounces lost. Rip. Please be bigger numbers. Yeah, about the same. Fifties. Mm -hmm. Gotta have marbles to lose them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. if I did that I'm sorry probably won't be the last time I do it either Wait your turn. Damn, frickin' mag is just getting brutalized on, dude. I'm just getting taken to pound town. Ah! What is up with these numbers?
plane motor's gonna come and be like, chomp. Thank you. Looks like we're getting three. We'll just, we'll just say average three five a bucket. Hundred buckets, three hundred fifty ounces. So it was pretty much what I'm gonna chalk it up to. Meh. A little lower than I thought, but hey, whatever. At least that we should have a lot of good pay in the back of this claim then. Which to a pretty decent amount. Good. The no drain will crush a hundred buckets. Tony Beach will be so mad at me right now. He's like, you drill, fool, you drill. Now. Never. Don't do it. You almost did it again. Don't do it. My brain was fighting it, dude. It was trying. Hi, Shane, dude. Take it easy, Broski. Have a good night, man. Or a good day. That's my brain on gold rush right now. Na 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 na. I don't even know what I started at for gold. I have no clue. I really don't. Wobble, wobble. Dude, I'm going to wobble, wobble after this stream's over with. Wobble wobble my ass right to the shower and I give actually I gotta give Jasper a bath. 
Needs a bath. Pounded. No, he doesn't mind him actually. He just doesn't like the shower nozzle when I gotta spray him off with the soap. He doesn't like it. He's like, damn it. Still going. Cat, she likes, she actually, all I gotta do is turn the sink on in the bathroom, lukewarm water, and she'll go in there and give herself a bath. Oh, dude, she's crazy, man. She's crazy, bro. For some reason, she loves our sink in our bathroom. Crazy like Amanda. Yeah. An asshole took 70 something ounces. What a butthole. My gold. Screw this clam owner. No, we still got all these buckets that are left in here. And I still got like 16 more up top, so. Be a decent chunk of gold. Yep, you are correct, Matthew. I only smelted a 20 ounce bar and I had 150. Well, I just don't think it mattered whether it was with the front loader or not, to be honest. Because yeah, all these buckets I ran out of the back of the truck right now, they were all scattered throughout this whole area with the excavator from the top. So, I don't think it really, I don't think Jimmy really makes a difference at the moment. So, I know we had a lot of average low buckets, but I don't know what the gold's at. So, you know, we could be sitting on uh, a lot of crappy spots over on this end. Never know, right? Didn't drill, so I couldn't tell you. Is what it is. I'll take it. Still had to farm it. Didn't matter. I enjoyed it. <laughs> like what? You enjoyed that? Yeah, man. It's fun. It's another day on Gold Rush.
130. Matthew, Matthew and those guys were right. It was 130 ish. They had 150, then I smelt it a 20 ounce bar. Ooh, 61 ounces of mag in that bucket, though. Hopefully, we were in some hot spots somewhere for a little while. Let's hope. Oh, 71 in that one. Oh, we definitely hit a rich spot somewhere. Don't know where it is, but we blasted through it, so. All right. That sucks. Hopefully, uh, wasn't that bad. <laughs> It's actually kind of cold here today, man. <laughs> like, what? Put it in Graham so you feel better about it. <laughs> yeah. This ain't great. <laughs> 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 I mean, not right now. You're going to kill me, bro. Not right now. <sighs> I think I moved more in this one day than all of Dre's content put together. Just saying. Yeah, it happened. Shots fired. No, oh, no. Yeah. Water out. I got. He's not a he's not a, a gold rusher though. He may make gold rush videos, but he's not a hardcore gold rush player. He dabbles in it for video content. So I, I, like I said, I take my hats off. I joke about it all seriousness, but he, uh, he's done a lot for the gold rush community just by playing the game and bringing millions of views to the game. Hey man, whatever makes some bread, right? Whatever gets in that cheddar in the bank account at the end of the day. How do you get so much equipment so fast? I don't know. I'm playing slow. I did big dirt. I like putting holes into claims. I like to dig a lot of dirt. Is that all the buckets? I think it is.
If not, we'll find him some other time. <laughs> eh. Just we'll find buckets all over the place randomly with gold in them every once in a while. Oh no, I was just I'm just dinking around with the fell. I went with the fell for a little I went I ripped most of this out with the the excavator and then I kinda just did a little bit of trimming work around the sides with the fell. Just kinda just kinda get it speed it along a little bit. By the way, hello Phantom, how you doing man? I mean, we did hit some rich gold in there somewhere, but it's just not, there wasn't very much of it. There was like six or seven buckets of it. About it. You can finally back to work, bro. That's good, man. Good to hear. Good to hear, man. This is old Arnold. Where's new old, <laughs> new Arnold at? He's in California. All right, dude, take it easy, man. Good push today, bro. Good push today, dude. Good effort, man. Good effort. Oh, me? I'm just... I'm not really even... Just kind of trying. I'm not even really trying, dude. Just kind of dicking around. I push sloppy yards all day today. <laughs> bad, bad yard today. There is no expert playing today, that's for sure. And we definitely hit a good pay streak somewhere. You know what? I'm I'm betting. I'm betting that there's a fat pay streak right in here. I'm betting there's a fatty pay streak in here. And that was a dead no man zone over here. All this was like fucking butthole zone. This whole area was probably shit tastic. <laughs> like, I guarantee you, this is the shitter part of this whole area right here was just crap. Because that's where I pulled the majority of the buckets from the front loader was this area right here and uh, in this area. So I, I would imagine that if it's shit, it's going to be all shit on this side. And then there's probably a rich spot that ran through here somewhere. Yeah, I made pay mound. I did a lot of goof off shit. Just had a lot of fun today. It's going to be streaming Gold Wars for you guys again, man. <clears throat> Yeah, dude, it's just I'm thinking I'm thinking that freaking pay streak up through here, man Somewhere in this area somewhere in here, man Back in that area or somewhere it starts up or something, dude I have to get the drill out and bust it in and kind of see where it was at Oops, I don't think I might accept that one <laughs> My bad All these buckets are fire, dudes. Yo, what's up? Yeah, chase the gold. Hmm. 
No, not too bad. Listen, I'm happy with it. Had a lot of fun. Screwed off a lot today. Still pulled out some okay numbers for the day for the uh, thing. Ran shitty yardage, but yeah. Here. Hey, at least the claims all prepped out for badass rock truck running when it is time for that. That's nice. That's a bonus. Oops. Yeah, they were all like 60 to 70 ounces of mag per. Woo, it'd be a different story right now. You can tell I was playing in some butthole pay dirt. I was definitely playing in some butt. I was maybe today in total, I was maybe, I maybe ate up like eight squares total. That was any good. That just means there's a shit ton of gold left in this claim. Woo! That's gonna be fun to play in. Give me some of that. You don't think I tortured it all with a tier two? No mercy. Just take it all. Oh yeah, T3 will most likely be tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. T3, baby. And probably all my workers too. So I'm just gonna start trucking this dirt, dude. I'm primed up for it. I got a fat paywall here and we going and danking it downtown. And we're sending it to pound town. Oops, I kind of need that bucket, dude. I kind of need that bucket, bro. Bam. Well, it was shit-tastic, but we murdered it home. <clears throat> I murdered it in there. <clears throat> All buckets are cleared out. Yeah. 
Nice. All right, let's see what the damage is. How do we do? Eh, fourth. They're all running. They're like I said. They're all running their tier. They're all running tiers. So that's not bad. They've all been running their tier tier threes and stuff like that. So for a lot longer than I've been. So that's not too shabby. Because I saw where the number stopped versus where it's at now. So that puts me uh, not too bad. It just means that's the difference. That can show you the difference right there between someone who rented and someone who didn't. Right? It'll. It's pretty easy to tell. Right? Renter versus non-renter. Not bad, dudes. People putting down some big numbers. Like seeing that gold total shooting up there like that. I'm pretty happy because I'm buying my full tier three tomorrow, so. And I don't have to rent any of it. That's going to be fun. Own it outright. That's good. It was a good day. So what did I put up in that clean out? Uh, 401 ounces. 401. Eh. We had some shit dirt. But we definitely, definitely had some shit dirt. Well, yeah, it wasn't a bad haul at all. Was not a bad haul at all. Now see where everybody's at. Congrats to everybody who's been playing today. Come on, dudes. Get some gold cleaned up, buddies. Be fun to, to be, be fun to see leaderboards that doesn't allow renting, like the old days. Yeah, I agree. Not bad for crappy dirt. Yeah, I agree. Am I smelting that tonight? Uh, probably not. I might, I might, I might smelt some later, but, um, it's, it's just, I'm just going to do it off stream off and on over the next, I'm not going to bed right now. So I still got some time. I probably will end up, uh, I'll probably end up just doing a little bit of prep for tomorrow and, and, uh, leaving it at that. Right. Here, I'll stop it. I guess it doesn't really matter if I have the time going. So let's take a look at the claim and see what I did to it. So a lot more over here. Not much. I mean, honestly, not very much dirt taken out of the claim for a hundred buckets. It's really not or 106. Really not a lot of dirt moved out of here. I mean, it may look like a lot of dirt moved, but really it's, it's not a lot of dirt moved. It, re it really isn't. Yeah, it's, it, I'm not a fan of it either. So it's like, it's kind of like a, for me, I think and I know why they they wanted it because they didn't want people to have to eat the 150 hour grind. But that was back then. That was a long time ago before people knew how to play the game. Right. There was only a couple of us that knew how to play the game. Now it's like we all know how to play the damn game. All right. Like renting is just a fucking nuisance. Like we can we can all get the damn Nighthawk without renting in like 30 to 40 hours. Like, OK, like we don't need renting anymore. Renting is just like a. I mean, we all know how to rent. We all know how to get there as fast as possible. We all know where the stop points are to get to tier three and rent tier three as quickly as possible. We get it to tier three to get those numbers going as high as possible. Right. So we all, we all know how that's done. Right. We all know when the break points are and stuff like that. So it's not really people say, Oh, what well, adds better competition? It adds better. It adds more variety to the game. No, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. It's just, uh, and I'm, I've never been a fan of renting. Like, when I found out they were adding renting to leaderboards, it honestly killed leaderboards for me. Like, that's why I was kind of like, oh, this is stupid now. Great. Great. God damn it. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, it is what it is. Like, I, not that I don't, it's not that I, like, 100% despise it because, you know, I mean, in season one, I got to, I got to full tier five, like fully kitted out in under a week, right? Like in under a week, man. Like, so, I mean, for, I guess for an average player to even think about seeing a Frankenstein in season one, that it was, but that's the thing though. That's, that's where your elites 
shine above everybody else is the people that are going to put the, the hours in and put the yardage in. They're going to be the ones that shine because they're the ones that have the most money and everybody else is going to get stacked and tiered on their own renting. It didn't renting didn't need to didn't need, need that to even happen. It was already happening naturally as it is. They were just impatient, I think. And too many crybabies are like, it takes, I don't, I can't. I think the mentality was, was what it really was, was that all the people that were crying going, well, I don't have the hours that it takes to play. So, you know, if you give us renting, then at least the odds are even. No, they're not. It's even worse. A shitty player is still a shitty player and a good player is still a good player. It's not going to change the fact. It's just going to compound it even more. It's all it's going to do. So you're going to take that good player and you're going to make them even better then the shitty player is not going to get any better just by adding renting. That's the care bear mentality, right? So it's, it didn't work in their favor. And a lot of them got pissed off and a lot of them were like, this is stupid. And, and, um, you know, it's like, they just never got any better while the top guys, we all still put, we all still push the same yardage. We all still, um, you know what I mean? And it's like, we all still do the same stuff. We all still run the same yards. We all still get the same amount of damn gold roughly. You know, if we put the right amount of hours in or renting versus not renting, I tended to lean Nords. Last season, I did a little bit of renting, but it was like, eh, I was I, I, I had a broken strat right off the bat. I went into it at the wrong time and it really screwed me over. Plus the dirt changes and stuff last season too. So I was able to grind my way out of it. No problem, but just had to put an extra 30 hours in and that kind of sucked. That really, that kind of irritated me. Uh, last season, I was like, ugh, gross, gross. But see, it's doable still. Like I, I didn't, I didn't put up any fantastic yardage last season on average. It was just average style dirt. I still ranked pretty well amongst everybody, and I only played a couple days a week. And I just proof that you can still compete without having to put in two, three hundred hours, four hundred hours, right? So these guys are just fucking. They can just piss off, man. These Care Bear crybabies can just fuck off. And stop ruining the game that we all love to play. And you know what I mean? Like, just piss off already. Like, go away, man. <laughs> right? Like, like, that's how I feel about it. Like, it, it's seriously stupid. It's irritating. They've ruined our. They've ruined the game enough as it is. And then they don't even play the game anymore because they still couldn't win, even with everything in their, in their odds or their favor in their eyes. So it was kind of like, it was kind of shitty. A lot of things have been changed I didn't like, but, you know, I still play the game. Still love it. Still will continue to play it. Still, still be here for you guys to, you know, to have someone to listen to and, and, um, you know, somewhat watch. It's not super, super God awful, terrible for the most part, but you know, there's definitely better players than me that are out there and you guys kick ass, man. You guys, you guys have been fucking crushing it, dude. And, you know, and, and for a long time, you guys have been doing really well. Keep doing it, man. Keep playing, keep having that passion to play the game and improve your skills and do better every season. Right. That's cause that's what it's always about whether you're competing against somebody else on the leaderboards or you're just competing against yourself to get better, or you're just having fun, you know, just make sure you accomplish your goal and have fun or do what you're trying to do. Right. One of the, one of those options, right? So it's just make sure you have fun. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I don't know what time guys. I honestly don't, I don't know when I'm going to get to sleep, but before I go to bed tonight, I will put up a stream, uh, start time for tomorrow and I'll get after it again, start running some tier three and, get everything hooked up and get everything running and uh, rip the rest of this claim out or hopefully or get a bunch of it ran. I don't know if I'll get all of it because it gets some rough mining coming through here. I might actually grab a dozer and uh, I might actually give it a, I might actually grab a dozer and give this a good flattening real quick. Just a just a real quick blast. Flatten it out. It'll make me run a lot faster if I just flatten it. Just tear it out and flatten it and everything like that. So yeah, man. A lot of fun. A little bit of prep time tomorrow. Um, a little bit of prep time tonight for me. Uh, other than that, dude, thank you guys very much for coming in and hanging out for so long today and hitting that like button, dudes. Like, it really does mean a lot. All the donations, all the new members today. Like, honestly, thank you guys very, very, very much for the support. It does mean a ton to me and my wife. And uh, we're going to continue to be here for you guys and play and just try to have some, have some fun. So enjoy your game. Good luck mining tonight, guys. Hopefully the gold is in your favor and you don't have any massive mistakes or any crashes or anything like that. Uh, hopefully everything goes good. If you do, I'm sure the developers will start to be coming on here in the next couple hours. So give them a, give them a message. Make sure you're uh, they're working just as hard as everybody else right now, guys. So please be patient with them. They they definitely need it. 
uh, with console and now trying to put now running leaderboards at the same time as trying to deal with console shit. So definitely guys, give them a little bit of uh, patience and, and some uh, time and understanding. I really do appreciate it guys. Peace out. Much love. Have fun. Dig hard dudes.